Hi, today's project I'm going to share with you my recipe for mince pies. Now I've been told, but I can't quote, that they are the world's best mince pies and they're really simple to make. All you need is some flour, plain, some unsalted butter, caster sugar and a touch of water and salt, that's for the pastry, and then I cheat and buy my mince meat in a jar. So the finished product will look something like this. This amazing Christmas tin full of some beautiful looking mince pies. But so you can see what I'm actually doing, for the next section I'm going to tilt the camera down. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring out 350 grams of plain flour. As you just put it straight in there and sieving it as it goes in. This will be enough to make about 18 mince pies. Use a spoon to push it through. Makes it quicker. Right. So that's flour. The next thing I'm going to do is weigh out. 225 grams of unsalted butter. So it's pretty much all of a block, but it's not quite. That's probably too much for now, isn't it? 225, perfect. For this, I'm going to chop into pieces, into squares, cubes of butter. I said 225 grams. Right, so there we have the flour, 350 grams of clay sieved into a bowl and we have 225 grams of unsalted butter in diced into cubes and all we're going to do is put this in here for now. Right, a huge tip for rubbing in flour is make sure your hands are nice and cold. You can do that by rubbing water against your wrists. Right, so I'm going to mix it all up in there. Can you see this? It's all into there. Right, rubbing in is this process. You lift up the flour and the butter and you rub it between your fingers like that. And you keep doing that for a long, long time until the butter all gets absorbed, or the flour all gets absorbed by the butter and it resembles breadcrumbs. And that's going to take a long time. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So we're nearly there. It's nearly breadcrumbs, if you can see. What I'm going to do to make sure if we're nearly there, I'm going to shake the pastry off a bit. What happens if you get these little clumps? Make sure they're not butter. Some of them are, so there's a little bit to do. So now we've got our beautiful breadcrumb texture. What I'm going to do is add the sugar and a, weirdly, a little pinch of salt. And the salt is just to bring the flavour up a little bit. So the sugar that we can add, this cast of sugar. We've got golden grapes, I don't, so I'll just not use normal. And it's 100 grams. Put 100 grams of cast of sugar in. Right, so that's spot on. And you just need to mix it in. So, what we're doing here is combining the breadcrumb mixture with a tiny amount of flour, of water rather, and combining it in. And it should make a nice dough at some point. So now we have our dough, it's time to roll it out. So traditionally, I would have just make sure the surface is nice and clean and rolled it out on here. But I saw a little tip yesterday, I'm going to try it out. The tip is to use baking sheet. I'm going to take just, just over, just about half of the dough. Right, just leave this in there. Just push it in the middle. Let's see if this works. And roll it out. Huh? Let's see how that works. Okay, so okay. for this recipe, uh, this pastry, you don't actually need to grease the tin at all because there's so much butter in here that it does it all anyway. What we're gonna do is we'll take two cutters, so not the biggest one. Or the next biggest one, it's too big, but the next one I can use as the main part and the smaller one as the lid. So let's start cutting them out. Also you can use whichever pattern you want. 
I'm not going to bother with a serrated edge because by the time I've messed with it, didn't do that very well. I'll be wrong that in a minute, but here we go. Here's your pastry. And literally, you just put it in the baking tin and push it down. So here we are. Now we've got our 12 pastry cases. Um, I'm just going to fill this with mincemeat now. This is just a short bought mincemeat purely because I don't have the time or the inclination to do it. And you know, these are supposed to be simple mince pies and how much more simple can you get them by in the filling? One thing I've made sure though is that it's uh, vegetarian and vegan, well, vegetarian, um, and alcohol free for anybody that's driving or doesn't drink. So now it's time to put the lids on. We've got a few lids here, we can roll out some more in a bit. Just put them on and press them down together as much as you possibly can. And the next one. So here we go, here we have 12 mince pies. What you can do with a leftover pastry is you can roll it up into a ball and you can put it in the fridge wrap it up in clean film or a beeswax wrap, put it in the fridge, it'll last for a couple of days. Or you can put it in the freezer and it'll last for even longer. So the final thing to do with this, and you don't need to, it's uh, just something I like to do, is this is uh, just a beaten egg. So we just do a, an egg arrangement on the top, just to make sure that when it cooks, it's gonna be nice and colorful and golden brown. And it's so simple, this recipe. And with this new technique of rolling out in the baking paper, it's a lot less messy as well, so. I'll even get my seven-year-old to help me with this one. She can help me roll it out. Right, so there we go. They are ready to go in the oven. So I've just got them out of the oven. They look amazing. They're in for about 22 minutes. Uh, they're nice and even and brown and lovely. So I'm just going to leave them to cool on here for five minutes or so. And then I'm going to put them out onto this cooling wire rack. So now they've rested on here for a little while, we can take them out and put them onto the cooling rack. Really easy way of doing it is using a teaspoon. Literally just get in and lift it up. Perfect crispy bottom, no soy bottoms, just amazing, lovely mince pies. these amazing mince pies. Thank you for watching.